Okay, so today we're going to talk about how to build the museum and then bring in your paintings and put them on the wall. Okay, so the first thing I want to do is I need a larger tool set. And what I have here is if I go to View and Tool Palettes, I get the large tool set. There they are. Now you might notice that a lot of the same tools are repeated up in the toolbar. So let's go ahead and get rid of the toolbar. So if you go down to view and you can hide the toolbar and now we have a lot more space to work on. Now I'm going to select the polygon tool. Now as you can see it has six sides. It's hexagon. But you know if I just type in a number and hit enter I can change it to a pentagon or back to a hexagon, a septoctagon. I think that's right. Um, yeah, 56 sides. I don't even know what you call that. That's a little too much though. I'm just going to stick with six. Uh, and I'm going to type in Gosh, what is that? Four meters, I think? No, no, no. Let's do six. So it's six meters from the center of the room to the edge. There it is. And now you might want to think I want to push pull it up, but no, I don't want to do that yet. What I want to use is the offset tool because I, I, I want to be able to make, you know, get rid of the middle stuff and just have the walls. And maybe it's looking okay. It's a little better. And hit enter. And now I'm going to select uh, the middle and I'm just going to hit the delete key. And now what you can see is that I have this very, very thin um, hexagon kind of border. Now I take the push pull tool and I'm going to create the walls of my museum. <clears throat> now you have to be careful uh, because if you get a little crazy, you can do something like that and it's, it's not realistic. So I'm going to make mine, I think, geez, here we go. I think that you can, I'm just going to type in a, a value here that I think is pretty good. Uh, four meters, I think that's pretty good. Um, there we go. And now I need to make the door, right? Now don't worry about the roof. We're not going to make a roof for this time. We're just, I'm, if you want to, you can, but uh, you're not going to lose any points without a roof. But you do need a door. So I'm going to pick a side. I'm going to grab my rectangle tool. I'm going to zoom in a little bit here. And I'm going to just, I'm going to make my door around two meters high. I, it probably could be a little higher than that, but that's just what I'm going to do. Um, <clears throat> yeah, and that's, yeah, here, let's see, there it is. There we go. And then, yeah, so that's the height, and I'm just going to pull it off to the right. And now when you get that little diagonal line, it means it's a golden section, it means it's a very proportional rectangle. Now I'm going to take my push-pull tool and I'm just going to push it until there's nothing there. We did this with the chair. And now I've got a building. Now don't worry about the floor and like I said, don't worry about the roof. Uh, we can add the floor later. I'll leave that up to you. Now I need to import, import, not open, but import my, my painting that I made the last video. So make sure it says SketchUp Files. So if not, you may not see your paintings. And I'm going to pick that one. I think that's the right one. I'm going to click Import, and a second later, boom, there's my Van Gogh. Now remember when we said glue to any? See how it's gluing to the wall? There you go. How about how easy is that? I'm going to stick it on this wall here just by clicking. And I'm just going to orbit around now so you can see it. There it is. There you go. How about that? And you just got to do that with all your paintings, and it should look out okay. Now, because it says glue to, you see that it's actually on the wall. It's not floating off the wall, which sometimes can happen if you forget to do the, uh, the glue to any. So now you want to make your museum a little fancier. You want to add some people, some fountains, some other stuff. So open up the Internet and type in 3D Warehouse. And your first result is going to be 3D Warehouse from Google. You're going to go ahead and click that. And here you can search for whatever you're looking for. Uh, people, um, cars, parking lots. I'm just going to type in a fountain uh, just to give you an idea. And I'm going to pick one of the fountains. Ooh, how about this one? Fountains with pool high something something. There it is right there in the middle. Uh, and it gives you a, a bit of a description, uh, a pretty good look of what it is. Now, there's going to be a button that says Download Model. You just click Download, and then you just import it like you did with your painting. And that's it. 
I hope this gets you started. Have fun making your museum.